Hello traders, today's highlights, a whirlwind day of reversals took place in the broad markets yesterday and investors can expect more volatility to come. This is our special edition for the end of the first week of trading in April. U.S. equities opened Wednesday's trading with declines and appeared headed for additional poor results. However, reports circulating about China and the U.S. showing signs of willingness to negotiate regarding their trade disagreements reversed sentiment quickly in the broad markets, with Wall Street turning in a winning session and Japan has produced gains today. The broad markets remain fragile and there are other concerns generating headwinds for investors. Facebook and Tesla have been two of the big stories this week, but Deutsche Bank in Germany is also being watched. Investors will continue to have their sentiment tested in the coming days. The U.S. dollar has weakened moderately versus the pound and euro as the risk appetite has improved in the broad markets short term. However, tomorrow's inflation report from the U.S. via the average hourly earnings remains a centerpiece for traders. And until the results are known, most short-term positions will be purely speculative. If the results from the wage numbers are weaker than expected, the U.S. dollar could lose additional value. However, if there is a strong outcome, the euro and pound could decline. The commodity markets have seen fast results within a wide range of products as the trade battle between China and the U.S. has caused ramifications. U.S. crude oil, however, is still within a known range and did see value added yesterday. In the coming days, crude oil may gather additional momentum and test resistance near 65 U.S. dollars a barrel. The UK's Services Purchasing Managers Index will be highlighted today at 0830 GMT and tomorrow's average hourly earnings at 1230 from the US will be a focal point for investors. Thank you for watching. Have a good trading day and we'll see you again soon.